To be denied shelter as a human being is to be left out to die. The things that you hear that women go through is, is awful. They've really suffered a lot of trauma and a lot of upheaval. If they've been abused by a man, they don't want to go and live with other men. It gives women safety and security. It just makes them come to the top of the list. If you're women, tick. That's mm. fine. That's come fine. in. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. I'd be still sleeping out. I'd be still drinking me alcohol. That's probably one of the most moving things that I've found that somebody has set up a project where you're not going to perish. When people come in and need, for example, clothes or want to wash their laundry or want to take a shower, then we try to make that possible for them. But they can also just come and talk to us, so they can come in and have a rest and just, yeah, take a break from their lives on the street. The women that we work with, they are entrenched rough sleepers. Um, they're women that have had experienced trauma from quite an early age in, in their life in terms of abuse that they've suffered. And that's not something that you can fix <laughs> quickly or alleviate very quickly simply by um, assisting somebody into accommodation. Many of the women who come here uh, have experienced domestic violence, um, they've experienced uh, trauma uh, from uh, either current partners or their childhood. Our emergency beds are great for that sort of service because we can uh, work closely with domestic violence agencies, um, the police, um, to offer that service at very short notice. The residential unit consists of 54 beds and what we try to do is support women who have maybe had some form of trauma or they're struggling with certain issues to kind of kind of overcome them and to go back into living independently. In here that I know what the real life is and now I'm going back to college, I'm doing all the stuff that it really helped me. It was the girl who's living in the party to the station to someone who's living in their own rooms and someone take care of them. We have succeeded with about 115 women in the last year or so. When they've come away from vulnerability and homelessness into their own flat, uh, there can be a degree of loneliness and isolation. So we continue to support them once they've resettled because we recognise that's a vulnerable time. The Valencia Suite is a mental health supported accommodation for 14 women um, and it's part of the Malibu Project. We're one of the only um, hostels within London that has a dedicated part for women with these particular difficulties. Made in Marlebone is about empowering and equipping women for the future outside the Marlebone project, giving them the confidence, the self-esteem and actual, you know, proper marketable skills that they can take into the workplace. We've got a kitchen that is really well equipped and we just wanted to use it as much as we could and we thought a catering company would be a great way to start. We collect unwanted accessories, so um, mainly jewellery, scarves, um, that sort of stuff, and we upcycle it. So we take it apart and we make something new with it, which we can hopefully sell, um, and then the profit comes back into the project. Often volunteers coming with their own skills uh, make a huge difference. Well, I had a day a week that was spare and I just I wanted to do something that was helpful. I think anyone who came and joined us would get as much out of it themselves as they were giving. It's no sinful thing to be homeless and poor. Jesus was a friend of the poor and did a lot for them, but in our society today, you're almost certainly a group of people that is not wanted. I appreciate what the staff have done for me since I've been here. They always believe in me, even if I'm wrong. I've met really inspiring women um, who have overcome really um, great difficulties in their lives and um, that's, that makes it special for me. I just want to thank them for what they've done. If it wasn't for them, none of us would be here today.